Hello, I'm Rachel with Adventures Heart, and today I'm going to take you on a fun journey through the Sonoran Desert over in the Arizona area, specifically the Saguaro National Park area and the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. I want to show you the cool, fascinating nuances happening in nature all around you, such as a bee pollinating a cactus flower all the way to the scarier things like rattlesnakes on your boot. Don't worry, that's not my boot. That was in the museum, thankfully, and we didn't see any. But I want to show you the really cool adaptations that animals, plants, everything has to make to survive in the desert. The really cool thing about the desert are the adaptations that the animals make. Here's a cool little lizard, and he'll wave his tail, and there's actually a cool design on the tail. I think it's cool, but it's really used to detract and lead predators away from him. We'll see if he does it. It kind of looks like a dragonfly or damselfly uh, when he wags his tail. Another adaptation animals make while they're out in the desert is they actually want to hide in little small cracks and crevices, just like this little sculpture of rocks that we are crawling in. So a little bit of a myth that people think reptiles love heat. Well, they do, but they like it when it's between a range of 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit not when it's 100, 110, like it sometimes gets in the Sonora Desert. So they'll actually get their heat and then come in and hide in cracks and crevices just like we're doing right now because it is a blistering 100 degrees out right now. Uh, so another fun fact about animals in the desert. Like I said, lizards and reptiles like to get out of the sunny heat. Here's one. Phil just went under it. Little too did he know. So I will be careful so this lizard doesn't end up on my head. <laughs> I'm going through there. Lizard is up there. Hi, buddy. Little desert squirrel is hiding in the shade, the exit of an exhibit, because I just want to stay cool. Beautiful view. Some fun facts of the javelina while you're watching them. So while this one's rubbing its nose on the other one's back, it's actually doing that because they are transferring scent glands. They have a scent gland on their back and each of them has unique odor. And by rubbing together, they share their scent glands so they know the herd of which ones belong and which ones don't. So it's really cool. And then they have a social structure in which they will uh, call out a distress. Um, first, they want to run, but then they will raise their hairs called bristling similar to how porcupines raise their hairs and then they warn each other so that they can seek shelter and be safe. You'll notice because their legs are long so that they can be fast runners they actually can't reach the grass to be able to eat so they have to go down on their front knees while they eat. So an interesting adaptation for these animals. There's lots of treasures to be seen out here in the desert. It's hot, <laughs> you start sweating immediately. We got here nice and early before it gets hot, but very cool scenery. But the cool thing while you're out here and you're focusing on all the different ages of the saguaro trees from this little one straight ahead that's maybe 20 years old to the big one over there that's about 150, uh, 200 years old, is to stop and listen. And you can hear the morning doves, all of the uh, birds chirping. It's just a really cool, serene experience out here. And the cool thing to know with the saguaros is that uh, woodpeckers will come and they'll put a hole in the saguaro. And when they do, it actually creates a booth inside the saguaro uh, in which it creates a type of dopamine different than the dopamine we have um, but it creates it and it creates a casing inside of it that looks like a boot when it is um, all decomposed that you would be able to kind of like a gourd um, if you're in the Ohio area but it creates that and it creates a nest for other animals to come so really cool to see how everything gets along out here in the desert area. It's interesting as I'm looking at the spines on this cactus, 
I kind of assumed that if you touch it, it's some, it like just other automatically cat. kind of stick your finger, but it's really woody uh, in its feel. And it actually reminds me of the porcupines that if you just kind of touch it in a non-intrusive way, it's just like woody debris. It's not like anything is going to hurt you. Of course, if you <laughs> throw yourself into it or try to give it a big hug, that'd be a very bad idea. Um, but it's just here to be able to protect itself uh, from everything that's out here. So super cool to be able to see how it protects itself out in this environment. See some ants running up and down. There. Oh yeah, lots of ants on it. And we heard that snakes will actually slither up the cactus, uh, which is crazy to me that it could go around. But again, everything makes adaptations while it's out here. We did see a, a walla walla uh, lizard and I mean like that big, which was super cool, a little scary. We learned about them in the museum, which made it not so scary because I knew it wasn't venomous or anything like that. But so many things to discover if you just take the time to look around and see see what is out here during your, your trips. So it's always neat to find artifacts in nature that remind you of modern engineering, at least for me. Um, as a very techie person, I'm always um, fascinated by the correlations between what you find in the wild and some of our everyday products. You know, you look close to this, this is a, a dead specimen of this same cactus. And you'll notice if you look closely, it's got this corrugated inner core, almost like corrugated cardboard. So I find that really fascinating that, you know, it's a very similar structure to something that you use every day. Standing next to this over 100 and probably 50 some year old uh, saguaro, I feel just in awe of it. Uh, but the cool thing is you're looking up, you can see the flower has already bloomed, so the fruit is there. And on the floor, we found some of the flowers. And if you smell it, reminds me of the smell pockets that I talked about before in other videos. Um, where you're walking along, you just smell really cool things. But this one, it smells fruity and sweet. I uh, can't quite place it, but really good. If it was made into a juice, it would taste really good, I think. Uh, but inside you can see all of the tiny seeds. So itty bitty dots in there are part of the seeds. I can see why all the insects, we saw uh, bees earlier that were eating it. I can definitely see why they would want to. But leave no trace again, I found them here. I'm going to put them back so that all of the desert animals in the Sonora Desert are going to be able to take, a uh, take them, eat them, use them for life sustaining because there's not a lot of water out here. So super cool to be out here in the uh, Saguaro National uh, National Park. You can see the woody interior, uh, interior of the cacti here. These are going to be its ribs, so it's fleshy on the outside and then the ribs go all the way up. Unfortunately, sometimes these amazing giants take a tumble and they die and are left on the desert floor but you can see how shallow the roots are for such tall structures. Another desert plant protecting itself while it's out here is the teddy bear choya. It's called teddy bear, but I don't think I would go in for a big hug. As you can see, it has tons and tons of spines on it. The interesting thing about it, this adaptation is that a lot of the spines actually provide shade for the inner body of the plant, protecting it from the hot, hot sun that is out here. We finally got off the road and found some natural surface trails. If you're out here, don't just stay on the road. Make sure you go for a short hike. Uh, it's about 645 now, so definitely wait till later in the day or earlier so it's not so hot. Nice little breeze going through, but so cool to be among all of the cacti out here so get out of your vehicle go for a hike watch out for any creepy crawlies on the trail and have fun in saguaro national park <laughs>